Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, the 8th of March. Where is the month going already? It's going so fast. I am ready. Well, I'm ready, but I've just had my breakfast. I'm just sitting here watching a bit of the news before I get ready to go off and get my little madam up and Paul, make sure everything's okay, get her to nursery and start my shift. I feel all right, a bit tired. I kept waking up in the night and Jennifer had some night terrors, bless her, but she's okay. She had them twice. She tends to have them twice and then, and then goes back to sleep properly. And yeah, so hopefully it's gonna be a good day. It doesn't look too bright out there. It's a bit chilly, but you know, it's not the end of the world. We'll get and do this day and then we'll see what happens this afternoon. Probably not a lot. I've got some, I've got three orders to pack, so we'll have to do that later. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll see you in a bit. Hey everybody, I've had, I've got three sales. I was gonna do them yesterday and post them today, but I didn't. And I've got to do it tonight and I'm not feeling 100%. Paul's not well, he's gone to bed. Jennifer's in bed. I haven't vlogged at all today other than first thing this morning. Just haven't had the energy. But of course tomorrow I will be vlogging because I'm having my jab. Now, I'm in my shed and I've got to get past this. This is Jennifer's outside play tent which we haven't put down from when it was put up on Saturday because I figured Paul will never be able to get it back up again. And now it's stuck in my shed. This is supposed to be my shed for my eBay and uh yeah <laughs> I'm gonna have to move around it because I've got stuff over there I need to get so I've sold a pair of shoes a top and a camera and I'm just gonna get those done as quickly as I can get back into the warm <laughs> hey guys um I've done all my packages they're outside Paul's gone to bed he went up at half seven because he's not feeling very well I've just made a cup of tea so it's quite chilly outside so my three packages are parceled up um, I'm going to put some in my drop and go and do some of that in a minute. But I'm actually trying to do something to print some up. I am now on the Ava Brown Colouring Book launch team. So that means every week, or whenever there is a book, I get a PDF of the new book for review. Um, so I've got one. I'm trying to print it up so I can review it. And I'm having problems with my printer. And it's a new printer. It's very annoying. But, uh, yeah, it'll work out. I'll sort it. Um, it sort of gets halfway through and then stops a the page. I might have to print it individual pages. I was hoping to just print the whole PDF with one go. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited. So I'm looking forward to, to printing this out and having a go with it. Uh, but um, not getting very far, so I'll let you know how I get on in a bit. Okay, I managed to print them off. Um, but I like the, some of the PDFs. They're printing off really weird. So this is... Oh, I love the pictures. They're fantastic. The Ava Brown... I don't buy them is not filling the page and there's no way of changing on my printer settings how it fills so that's that one and this other one is a jade summer one and as you can see if I laid them together it prints with a bigger smaller um, border but it's okay I still love the pictures they're fantastic I'm gonna look through them now and uh, have a go at uh, colouring one just with markers just for a bit of fun so I'll uh, I'm gonna call it quits now and, and head off upstairs to bed to colour a bit on this I'm really excited to be a member of the colouring club maybe I'll figure out how the printer works but I know it must be just the way they print up because the Jade Summer one I printed one straight after and it was fine you know I'm just happy to, to get them and have a go it's great I'm gonna enjoy looking through the book and they're not in the right order and I don't care because I won't colour them in the right order um, but it's really, really nice to see. Anyway, I'm going to see you tomorrow when it's, uh, it's V-Day. Vaccination day for me. Yay! Good morning. It is Tuesday. It is V-Day. Vaccination day for me. Ah, scary, but exciting. I had a fabulous dream last night. I dreamt I had written and was staging a musical at a theatre. There were lots of people from my past in it. Lots of people I don't know at all in it. And... Um, I could hear all the music, all the harmonies, see all the costumes. Oh, what a fantastic dream that I had to get up. But yeah, I mean, wow, what a dream. That was amazing. Anyway, I'm uh, going to go get ready for work, get Jennifer and Paul up and uh, crack on, but I'll uh, see you afterwards. Okay, so I'm at the nursery going to pick up Jennifer. I've got sausage and chips lunch for me and her and for my mum. I'm going to go and check on her because she had her jab yesterday. Um, she said she slept really well. Best night sleep she's had in ages, but she's aching today. So I'm going to check on her, make sure she's okay because she still can't walk very well. So it's a beautiful day. The sky's blue. Look. Look. Yeah, very nice. So I'm just going to go and get the little one, see if she's still awake, because of course she was knackered this morning. She didn't sleep. 
She got up really well though, so I think it's because she hadn't slept deeply. She went really grotty, so I'm gonna go and sort her out and go and have some lunch. I've just changed my t-shirt because I had a dirty mark on it. And I looked over at the sofa and this has happened. Don't forget she didn't sleep last night very well. God knows what she's covered in. Something from nursery. Look at that sweet little face. She is out, bless her. Thing is, if she don't wake up till I've gone out, she's going to wonder where mummy is. Poor thing. Okay, so I'm at the surgery now. Got my mask and uh, I'm going to bit early, go in in a minute and get myself jabbed up and I'll let you know how it goes. I'm sure it's going to be fine, I've got no worries. Um, I say any protection's better than nothing at all and I'm willing to take the risk. I don't think there's much risk, I think there's more risk in not having it than there is in having it. So I'm going to go get it now, I'm quite excited. This is a step back to normality I think. So I wonder if Jennifer will still be asleep when I get home. I hope so. I'll see you afterwards, I'll let you know how I feel. That's it, it's done. I was literally in there two minutes. Not well, maybe five if that. I don't even think it's actually 10-2. They're really good. They're quick getting people through very quickly. So I've had the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, which I thought it would be because my mum had that yesterday. And she said, make sure you got some paracetamol. People are generally reporting any side effects within 24, 48 hours. Like my mum was really fatigued last night, slept all night, was a bit achy, but she's fine now. So I'll let you know how it goes. I'm sure my, I won't grow two heads and I'm sure my arm won't drop off. So <laughs> I feel buzzing. I feel so excited. I want to cry because I feel like now there is some hope that we're going to get back to not normal. It'll never be normal again, but to, to some sort of being able to go out and doing things. Even if we have to wear masks, I'd like a summer holiday this year because last year we had to cancel two holidays. It would be nice to get away if we can. Hopefully the end of June, we may well be. It would be fantastic. So like I said, I didn't think they'd get to my vaccine until April, May. I've got my next one on the 25th of May. So I'll pop that on the calendar when I get in. So I don't forget, same time, same place. I am absolutely buzzing. I'm so pleased that I've had it. It took seconds. I just am. I'm just really happy. So I'm going to head off and see if Jennifer's still asleep. I'll see you back at home later. <sighs> okay, it's about ten past eight. It's just over four hours since I had the vaccine. I'm very, very tired. I did have a brief hours kip earlier. My head feels fuzzy. It's not a headache as such, but it feels really fuzzy. Um... I'm making a little bit, I feel a little bit sick, but more than anything, I just feel absolutely tired. So much so that it's just, it's, everything seems so slow, everything seems heavy. Jennifer's in bed, she didn't want to go, and she started crying, wanted to watch the football. Didn't like the white light because it was too scary, wanted the green one, so I've sorted that out and I've put her back down, so hopefully she'll sleep. I'm gonna chill out, watch a bit of TV in bed, and go to sleep. My eyes feel heavy, my arms feel heavy. Still worth it, still totally worth it. I know it'll pass and I'll be fine. I just feel foggy, my head feels foggy. I'm like, oh, are we on? But I do that anyway. So yeah, so very, very fatigued, which is normal. My arm's fine, not aching at all. There's not, no problem with that at all, which is good. I just feel tired and fuzzy headed. And, and a bit achy so that's okay I'm gonna curl up and uh, watch some TV and maybe read a book I don't know in a bit I'll have to see I don't think I'll be doing much I'll probably go to sleep in about half an hour I'll see how I am in the morning hopefully we'll be fine and I'll be right up back at work so I'm glad I've, I've had it the first dose is done so I'm really pleased there's hope it feels like there's hope now it'll never be normal again it'll never be what it was before this but there's hope that we might get some part of our lives back. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning and I'm here. I'm up. So, uh, vaccination update. Oxford AstraZeneca. I feel a bit sick. My arm's sore. I'm still extremely tired and I've got a very bad headache. I think it's worse, pretty much worse than anything I've ever had. As you know, I get headaches anyway, but nothing like this. It literally feels like my brain's trying to escape. So I, I took some paracetamol in the night and it seemed to help for a little bit then it came back so I'm going to take some more after I've had my breakfast and see how I feel but 
it literally feels like my entire head hurts all the way back here all the way down here it's like a sinus headache but all over the head instead of in the sinuses it's awful i still think it's worth getting the vaccine i'm not gonna knock it but my head is horrendously painful and the hoping it'll start getting better as the day goes on though so i'm just gonna see how i feel in a bit i will keep you posted i think it's important that this is documented and put out there and like i said i would not change having it for the world it's important to have it as far as i'm concerned we need to have it so we can try and get the shops open and be able to go on holiday even if it's only in the uk it need we need to have these vaccinations so i'm bloody happy i had it but i think it's also important to say that yes there are side effects now my mum and dad they didn't have any. My, now, my dad had Pfizer. My mum had Oxford. She had tiredness. She was very, very tired. And she ached the next day for a little bit. But that's it. Now, me, I'm extremely tired still. And I've got a very bad headache. And I can feel... Whereas yesterday, I couldn't have told you where they injected me. Today, I can feel it. It's slightly raised. It's warm. And it's sore. But that's okay. So I'm going to have some breakfast and I'll talk to you later. It's Wednesday afternoon, I've been asleep most of the morning. Jennifer's home, she's downstairs with her dad, my head is still really painful. It's alright when I first wake up after I sleep. And then it just gets worse and worse. And paracetamol is not touching it properly. So I guess that's just to keep the fever down really. So yeah, my arm's a bit sore and my head hurts, I'm still really tired. So Paul's got the afternoon off look after Jennifer so I can just chill and uh, not have to watch the silly stuff she's watching oh my god my head so I'm gonna have a, a little rest now again um, and see if I can shift this headache a bit it's not a lot you can do you know I can't really read because my eyes are hurting I can't watch TV I don't want the noise on so I'm just gonna rest I'll keep you posted, so yeah, I mean, I, I feel a bit sick, but not as bad as I did earlier. I, I, I don't think I'm aching. My, obviously my shoulder where they jabbed me is hurting a bit, but... Oh, it's, it's the headache. Uh, everything else I could like, cope with without any bother at all wouldn't bother me. It's the, the head is the worst thing. So I'm going to have a lie down again, see how it goes. So I'll see you later, I'll let you know how it's going. So I've put Jennifer to bed. Me and, Dad, me and Paul did, she's fine, she's asleep at the moment. She didn't want to go though. My headache is subsiding, it's still there, but it's tolerable, it's at a tolerable level, whereas earlier it was horrendous. I had to tolerate it, but it was like being hit over the head with a hammer. Now it's just a, a slight thump. <laughs> but I feel hot and clammy and a little bit queasy. But I'm hoping I'll feel a bit better tomorrow. Uh, might not be 100%, but it should be all right enough to look after Jennifer tomorrow afternoon and go to and work tomorrow morning. At least I hope so. I don't like letting the gang down. It's busy. Um, I, I couldn't work today. It was horrendous. But again, I'll have to see how I am tomorrow. So, I went... Okay, so I went about five-ish to see, because I wanted to spend some time with Jennifer before she went to bed. And she was fine playing, watching TV, and didn't want any dinner, but then she did. Oh. But she's had some dinner and she's gone to bed now, so she's all quiet. Whether or not she'll stay that way, I'll let you know. But yeah, so I feel exhausted still. <laughs> so I've come up to bed, Paul's downstairs watching some football. And I'll probably potter up and down. Um not going to sleep just yet because I've been asleep most of the day though I probably could I'm going to uh, colour a bit more of a picture I've been colouring and then I'm going to watch some YouTube and uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll be back to filming I haven't filmed a colouring chat this month yet because of various things and that's okay sometimes these things happen and uh, tomorrow I will hopefully do one I want to do jewellery box I think <laughs> it's terrible isn't it when you feel like that you just feel so tired it's draining it's very draining I'm not saying I'm not going to be tired tomorrow I'll probably be more tired than anything else but uh, tomorrow I want to 
obviously work and I want to get Jennifer home I want to tidy up the living room a bit because it's a bit of a mess because I want in any fit state to do I think today do a bit of washing up because Paul's not feeling 100% either it's lockdown's getting to us now um Paul more than me I'm already feeling bad because of the vaccine but Paul he's he likes to go out today it was raining so we couldn't go for a walk if it's nice tomorrow and it doesn't rain we'll go out for a walk when he finishes work in the afternoon try and try and do that but, uh, I've got to find the charger for my other camera it's downstairs somewhere I've got a it might be under the sofa which is a bloody heavy thing but um I'll get down and have a look for it tomorrow and then tomorrow I want to do some filming there's football on tomorrow evening but it's early so hopefully I'll be able to watch that oh well, I sleep all day and I still want to go to sleep. So I'm going to try and stay up for an hour or two. Because I think it's not even half seven yet. I want to finish off a picture. <laughs> from the Ada Brown book. And I want to... I just want to watch a bit of YouTube. I don't know what I want to watch though, so... <coughs> like I said, even feeling like this all day with a headache that was extremely painful. Like I said, it's easier now. It's still worth having that the job is still worth it it's a slight bit of you know can't think of the word I'm getting old inconvenience for some protection that might give us some semblance of life back even if it's just booking a meal out and going to a restaurant or for out for a drink at a pub <laughs> going to the shops I'm now talking of introducing getting rid of the stay-at-home rule for Wales Oh, bless him. And put in the um, stay local rule in, but then it's going to vary on where you are. So obviously, if you're in a, in an urban area like Cardiff or Newport, it'll be five miles. But if you're in a, a rural area like Anglesey or Powys or somewhere where there's not a lot, it'll be slightly bigger. So, for instance, I couldn't go to Blackwood, Newport, or Cardiff still if it was five miles because they're all just over five miles. If they gave us something like seven miles, we could at least go to Newport and just get out and see something different for a change, you know? But I do know we've still got to be careful. I mean, like today, it just rained. I wouldn't have felt like going for a walk today with my head, but um, it rained all day, so poor old Paul didn't get a walk. He loves his walking. I like walking. It makes my back ache, but I do like walking. As soon as the sun comes out again, I'll try and go out for a walk. So, I mean, I haven't had a proper meal today because I don't feel hungry. I had a little bit of lunch, had some toast for breakfast, had some toast for tea and a few biscuits. And I don't feel particularly hungry. But again, that's one of the symptoms, is loss, loss, of, ap loss of appetite. So I'm eating because I need fuel, but I'm not eating enough. Tomorrow we'll have, hopefully have a proper meal. I've got some enchiladas in the in the fridge which I'm looking forward to having. Chicken enchiladas yummy yummy. Now I'm not a big cheese person but I know on them it'll be fine. I'm fussy with cheese. I'm the strangest person. I won't eat it cold at all. Can't stand it. Don't like it on, on um, cauliflower. What a terrible thing to do with, to a poor cauliflower but if it's on something like an ocean pie or lasagna, pizza, enchiladas, pulled pork even a burger to an extent, I can tolerate it, depending on the cheese. Cheese on toast with tomato sauce and Worcester sauce, Worcestershire sauce, love it. No problem with it at all. It's just I don't like it cold particularly, and I'm fussy as to how I have it hot. Now, Paul will have cheese on his, his chilli or his pasta dish. I won't, because it, it's got to be melted properly for me to eat it. But that, that's just one of my foibles. Um, yeah. I've been reading a book today. I haven't read much this week again. Um, obviously today my eyes hurt earlier. So the fact that I'm able to read a bit now is a good thing because it means that it's my eyes, my head's better. And I've been waffling for six and a half minutes. So yes, I'm going to go now and, and let you have some peace. Um, that'll probably be it for tonight. But it is Thursday tomorrow. Two more days. We've got a, a lot to do. So I'm hopefully going to try and get some stuff done tomorrow. I had a payment today for me, eBay, so I need to put that on my fees. Oh, my, not on my fees, on my um, accounts, but I'll do that tomorrow night. It is very depressing, being stuck in all the time, not being able to go anywhere other than a quick walk around the canal. 
you know, at least if they lift the five mile rule, we could drive to Cumcarn Forest Drive or the Howie Valley Drive or, or 14 locks and have a walk around there. At the moment you're supposed to walk from home and exercise from home starts and ends at home and of course it gets a bit boring after a while doing the same now yes i could walk to my mum and dad say dad come on we'll go down the river but today was a horrible day and you wouldn't want to do it so there you go we're on to eight minutes nearly so i'm gonna go now and i'll talk to you tomorrow all right you guys take care and i'll see you soon morning is thursday still not feeling 100 percent. still got a slight headache still feel really exhausted Jennifer's in nursery and I'm upstairs. I'm gonna have a sleep. I'm out of breath just from walking upstairs. I'm absolutely shattered, really drained, but better than yesterday. So I would say I do feel better than yesterday, just not 100%. So, so I'm gonna chill out and rest for the rest of the morning. And then I'll get Jennifer and hopefully she won't wanna do too much jumping around today. If she does, she does, it's the way it is. But, uh, oh dear. Oh, as you can tell, I am tired. But other than that, like I said, I'm starting to feel better now. My head is still there. It's, it's, it's hurting a bit at the moment. It's not too bad. I'm going to take some paracetamol in a minute. It's not a horrendous one, but it is still knocking around up here. And like I said, I'm feeling feverish um, and a bit sick uh, every now and again. So that's okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm just going to chill out now, uh, watch some TV, read a bit maybe, and just relax. Maybe have a kip. As long as I'm up in time to get Jen, nothing else really matters. So I'll let you know how it goes and I'll see you later. Hey guys, it is about half eight, 29. Um, Jennifer's obviously asleep in bed. Paul's just gone up to bed. I'm going to watch some TV and do a little bit of colouring. I'm feeling much better. I'll be back to work tomorrow, which is a relief. Um, managed to get out for a little bit of fresh air today. I had a little walk up to the canal just to get out of the house. Um... But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I haven't done any videos this week apart from the vlog, the weekly vlog. So I'm hoping tomorrow to do some filming. Paul's going to have a Zoom chat with one of his mates. So I can film then. Um, I still haven't found my charger, so I'll be filming on this camera. I still find the memory card. But yeah, I'm alright. I'm happy enough and I'm feeling better. So I'm going to watch a bit, a bit of Geographics. It's a great channel about various things that have happened across the world through years whether it be natural uh disasters or man-made disasters it's, it's fascinating so it's another good channel to check out if you're into that sort of thing and uh yeah i'll see you tomorrow i'm like i said i'm, I'm better much better hello everybody it's friday morning as you can see i'm back at work i feel fine now no issues at all i'm still a bit sore if i touch it but it's fine jennifer kicked off a bit she wanted a lollipop before she went to nursery we said no because she hadn't had any breakfast I said she could have it after nursery. Um, so Paul's working in the other room and I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm going to be doing a buddy colour with um, another person via YouTube. Um, just, picked, just picking a picture for that while I sit here and work. And it's Friday, I'm drinking Lucasade. I fancied some Lucasade today, so I put that all down in spa and I was getting some, uh, some bread. And I'm just getting through the day, it's nice feel much better feels so good a bit a bit tired still but uh, I can deal with that I'm always tired because Jennifer she was she woke up uh, about one o'clock in the morning wanted a cuddle right. gave her one put her back and then she started again and we put her back for the second time because she wanted daddy and she was fine after that so that's cool so yeah I hope to do some filming tonight as well which would be great so plenty to going on I'll see you after work uh, when I pick up Jen hey everyone it's Friday evening, I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm upstairs, Jennifer's in bed. Paul's downstairs, he's gonna be um, having a chat on Zoom with his mate. <coughs> I've decided to come up here and film tonight. A little colouring chat and a couple of flip throughs. <coughs> and get some stuff uploaded. I have to have a drink in it. I'm stuck in my throat. Nice cup of tea. <coughs> I'm gonna watch some YouTube as well. Not a lot happened today, really. Did get some nice packages from Amazon, which I'm going to open up in a minute and show you. They are colouring related, so they will be seen again. So see if I can find my scissors. I've got a pair up here somewhere. Um, at the end of the month, but uh, I just want to have a quick look and show you what I've got. So I think I'm just still feeling really tired from the after effects of the COVID vaccine. At least my head's fine. I, I just feel really dopey now, so... 
I'm gonna put the YouTube on while I set up to film. And then I'm going to do a picture, I think, in jewelry box. This might change when I see something else because there's a few others I want to colour in. <coughs> Excuse me, oh dear. So yeah, I'm just gonna, oh, they're not feeling too good. Open these boxes and I'll show you what I've got. So the first thing I got was um, another Ava Brown colouring book which is Beautiful Women Grayscale. Thought I'd have a look at this. Oh, I like that one. They're really nice. So we'll have a look at that. I got some more distressed inks because I want to do a background using one of these in <gasps> the book Serene. I've actually decided to use the one I've got but I've got some of the colours. This is um, Kit 8 I believe. Mm, kit 8. So I'll get some more of them and I got the 200 count of <coughs> excuse me, a hoo hoo alcohol markers. If you want to see me do a first impression as I can. But I just don't know if I can be bothered. To be honest, I've got so many of them on the go. Ooh, there's a thing to go under your book. That's quite nice. Nice little pouch there. Yeah. I'll have a look at these in more depth in a minute, but just let me know. Um, a bit of a sniffle. <clears throat> so I'm going to crack on. I'm going to get this sorted out before I start filming again. And I'll watch a bit of Geographics and I'll see you after I've finished my Cohen chat and my flip throughs. So I'll see you after. Okay, so I finished um, filming three videos. Um, obviously, I did a colouring chat when I finally decided what book to do, and I filmed two, was it two flip throughs? Three flip throughs, sorry, so four videos. Um, and I'm now swatching the Oh Who Who markers. I was going to do first impressions, but I've actually decided not to do that. I'm just going to do a review of them just because I couldn't wait to start swatching them. So they do come with a colour swatch. Now, some of these colours don't match. So, for instance, I've got one here that says, let me find it. That one, it must be on this one. I can't find it now. Yeah, most of them look right looking at it. But there was one, I'm sure there was one. Yeah, 140 said black brown, but it's this one here. That doesn't look very black brown to me. Um, but it was number 140. So I'm swatching them and putting them into some sort of order. There are six compartments, 200 pens, which makes. 40 in each one actually there's actually one over which is a blender which will just split it fit in wherever it'll go so i'm putting one to 40 into the first compartment 41 and so on like that just so that i can go um although they're not going to be exactly in in the right order because there's only four swatch cards not uh, eight uh or six rather i'm going to be able to just say right it should be in if on color swatch one or two it should be in section one or section two um or so on judging by where so one to 40 i'm gonna say right well number 40 has got to be in section one 51 is in section two and and so on so i am just going to carry on swatching these they are very nice colors and i like i said oh dear i feel like i'm playing a game here um i will do a review of them so uh, so far i'm just playing color bingo <laughs> just trying to match them up that's gonna be it for tonight i'm very tired so i'm just gonna do this um and then i'm gonna go to sleep so i'll see you all soon well i'll see you tomorrow on saturday hopefully if it's not raining we might go for a walk around uh, the cemetery after we finish visit paul's mum i'll see you later bye hello everybody it's saturday morning we're chilling out tidying up doing some sorting jennifer's making a mess as i'm trying to tidy up which is just typical <sighs> stressful so we're just having a pottering day today trying to tidy up a bit and do things like get our census stuff ready and other bits and pieces um yeah every time i put some of jennifer's away she gets it back out again so it's pointless trying to tidy up with a child around 
but I will persevere and I'll see you later. Filmed a flip through for my channel and as you can see I've been beaten up by a baby. Oh, 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 Ow! <laughs> Think that's funny to you, Jen? <laughs> I'm not amused. Okay, we have, apart from clearing off the big table and giving it a wipe, we finished tidying up the hoovered. Jennifer's got toys everywhere again. We've got her ball pit out, which is great. Cleaned up her old high chair, because we're going to get rid of that. Just donate it. Um, there's a don Don't Dump Donate site on Facebook for our area. Uh, we've done her childcare options form, so we get our 30 hour three childcare when she goes to school in hopefully September. Good, done my Colour in Heaven video, put that up. I'm now uh, going to upload last night's terrible colour in chat because I was using a different camera. I'm not very good at using that one. So. It's alright for um, the vlogging because and for the, the booktube but for the colouring in videos I like my DSLR. But saying that, it's all up now. This battery's nearly dead. There's a battery for this hanging around somewhere. I just got to find it. I'm gonna go and have a shower and I'll see you later. So it's Saturday evening and Jennifer's in bed. Me and Paul are going to do a quiz. It's general knowledge and we're just watching the count of people um, um, who have joined to, to do it so far. We're at 219 teams. That's mad, so it'll be a laugh anyway. So, was it you, Kelly's Heroes? I heard we had a bit of a gambler in the room. Got a drink and a bit of fruit and some munchies, and uh, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes as we go on throughout the quiz. Okay, so at the first set of rounds, we're at 75th out of 237 teams. That's not bad. That's higher than halfway, isn't it, Paul? Mm. Yeah, halfway is the standard. Halfway is the standard. We just having a laugh. It's good fun. <laughs> at the end of that quiz, I'm all flushed. I always get hot and bothered doing these quizzes. We actually came in at 35th out of 237 teams. So I was really pleased with that. The last question, they, they last round I had like wager so many percentage of your points, which I don't like doing. Wager 10% on the last one. It was a Bond question. James Bond got them right. We got it right, didn't we, Paul? Yeah, we weren't brave enough. We could have got them better. We could have got better. better. Yeah. But it was fun. We had a good time. So, it was a laugh. I'm going to head off to bed in a bit because I'm a bit tired. A bit tired. Um, but that was fun. And we will uh, see you all tomorrow. Bye. Hi everybody, it's Andrea. It's a Sunday, the 14th of March in the UK. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, me. So, I'm going to go shopping now and then I'm going to go see my mum. And then Paul's mum's going to pop over. I'm tired. <sighs> but yeah, so it's time to get the shopping. What are you doing? You're wearing Peppa Pig shoes today, Jen? Yes. Yeah, Peppa Pig's. Good. Let's move this bag out of the way with Nanny's present in it. You put that away. So yeah, I'm going to go shopping and then I'm going to come back. I'm doing a buddy colour with somebody uh, for the rest of this month and I'll talk about that a bit later on uh, when I get back and show you what picture I'm doing. So. Better crack on. Hello everybody, it's Sunday afternoon, evening. My camera's upstairs. It's upstairs your camera, is it? I'll find it in a bit. So we're at home watching no. Doctor Who. Get she it. wants to watch the one with the dactyl. She means Father's Day in the first series with Christopher Eccleston while Rose sees her fathers and those monsters come in. Mm. She is little dirty choppy face. Mm -mm. Look at you, you say hello? Camera. I don't know where it is. I'll find it. You say hello? No. Don't want to say hello. Who are you? Ben. <laughs> He's a good girl. Mm. Sticking your tongue out, everybody. Love you. <laughs> it's been a nice day. Even with the tongues out. T Rex. Anyway, T Rex. Yeah. I'll be back in a bit. Hi guys, sorry I didn't wrap up the end of the vlog last night, so just to say I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one.